Good evening and welcome to Cigar Smoker UK. Tonight, I'm going to smoke this. This is the H. Upman number two. Let's hit that review. So good evening and welcome. Uh, and it's time for a cigar review. It's been a while. I know I say that a lot, but you know, this is my hobby and uh, I don't get around to doing them. Some weeks I just don't feel like it. But tonight I'm going to smoke one of my favourite cigars. This is the H. Upman number two. Pyramid style cigar. Uh, the little brother or the lesser known or the best kept secret of Cuba uh, compared to the Monte Cristo number two. Everyone knows that cigar. It's a very well known cigar in the cigar world. H. Upman number two. Not so well known by a lot of people. Known if you like your cigars. Uh, so dimensions are six and one eighth inches. It's a 52 ring gauge. So a classic pyramid. Okay. It's a light to medium uh, smoke. Um, although I've had some that have been a little bit more on the medium to full, but generally light to medium. Here in the UK, you're looking at £24.39 for one of these. Significantly cheaper elsewhere, but that's not a bad price for an hour's smoke for what we have to pay here in the UK. Uh, H. Upman's been around for a very long time, 1844 by a banker called Herman, uh, <laughs> Herman Upman or Hupman, uh, depending on what you read, uh, and uh, still in production today. You know, they're a pre-revolutionary brand that just keeps on going. This one does have a little bit of age, but that shouldn't really affect it. In fact, they do smoke better with a little bit of age on them. Um, but I've been meaning to smoke this for a while now and just didn't get around to it. And uh, do you know what I was sitting here this evening? I thought, I'm going to smoke this cigar and I'm going to review it and I'm going to enjoy it while I do it. So I'm going to get on with this. I'm going to light and cut the cigar and then we'll see how it smokes. Back in a minute. So I've lit it and I have to say it lit very well. We've got a beautiful draw going on. Um, so yeah, it's already a good cigar. Mm. Good, nice little retro hail there just to get those extra little bits of flavor out of it. Um, nuts and honey. I know that's a cereal, but it works in this cigar. Um, I'm already getting a little note of leather, some coffee bean in there as well. Um, but yeah, it is a very light profile. It's not a whack in the face. It's a very, um, uh, a very defined cigar, I would say. You probably know the H. Upman brand, the other cigars in it, the Magnum series, the 54, the 56, the 48. Um, the 46, and there's been a lot of limiteds and they've just released the 56 in a jar as it was so successful as a, as a limited edition. But I don't think you can go wrong with the, the, the sort of like standard editions. Uh, the number two, um, the Sir Winston is also fantastic. I reviewed that a long time ago. Go back and have a look at that. I'll try and pop a little card or something up there. But the Sir Winston is superb and this is equally an excellent cigar. Um, lovely little note of pepper, just on the the, the flavours that are sort of flying around my mouth at the moment. What is it they say about pyramids? That you get the joy of smoking a large ring gauge cigar with a relatively small ring gauge that you can cut. Now I always start off as small as, as small as I can possibly go and we've cut uh, there you go. We've cut about mm, not quite a centimetre off there. You will sometimes see people slice their um, pyramids on an angle. I've had it called a Cuban cut. I don't know if that's its proper name. But uh, I'm guessing if you cut it on an angle, you do get more uh, surface area to draw the smoke through. Now, whether that affects the smoke or not, who really knows? It really is a pleasure already. I know I'm going to enjoy smoking this. I can already taste that it's just delicious. Um, 
I haven't had a Cuban for a while. Oh, no, I did. I had a Bolivar. Um, but I've been smoking more non-Cubans. And this cigar reminds me of what I love about Cuban cigars. It's just got a beautiful texture and a beautiful flavour to it. And ultimately, just they just sing to me. And I really, really like that about them. Um, and it's that underlying flavour that you just you don't get with other cigars. I don't, don't matter what anyone else says, in my opinion, and this is my opinion, um, you just don't get that with non-Cubans. They don't have this underlying sort of sweet tang, twang. I'm not sure what you want to call it because people have said, oh, you've got to call it this and that. But I would say there's this underlying note that you get in Cubans that you just do not get in other cigars. Other non-Cuban, other you know, non-Cuban cigars, I find they have there's slightly something harsh about them. They, that pepper note, especially in Nicaraguans, if you don't like that, or that's not what you're looking for for that particular smoke, then you're not going to enjoy it as much. But Cubans, I just, if you, if you, the draw sometimes, yeah, is pants. But if you can look past that, uh, then they're superb. Right, I'm going to probably come back, I'm going to try and smoke a third, and then a third, and do reviews at each point. So uh, I will come back in a bit welcome back i've uh, probably gone near to halfway on this one uh, got enjoying the smoke way too much so what do you need to know well, the scar has been perfect i've not had a cuban this good for a long time and i have to confess i think this is from about 2010 so it's been sitting for a long time you know the band's nice and loose on it um, it's smoking really well, no touch-ups or anything like that. It's just a pleasure. The flavours are still those like little hints of uh, leather, wood and spice. Um, nothing much else, but it's, uh, it's good. A Chapman just has a slightly different flavour profile from other cigars. It's just it's quite distinct. It's not as spicy as Partagas. Uh, it's not as creamy as Hoy de Monterey, and it's not like a Monte Cristo. It's very different, but it's they're very good. And this is superb. Absolutely love these. So I'm coming back at the end with a little final thought for you about this cigar. Back in a bit. So here we are. I am right down the end now. Um. This has just been an absolute pleasure to smoke. Um, beautiful notes of um, leather and spice and all sorts of bits and pieces in there. It's just lovely. I probably could just keep smoking these one after the other. Um, so if you like something like a Monte Cristo number two, then I would highly recommend trying one of these. I would say this is, this is my favorite pyramid. Um, then probably Diplomatico, then Monte Cristo. Partagas P2 is a different kind of animal. It's Those three are quite similar. The Partagas is much spicier and uh, chocolatey. Whereas these aren't, these are much lighter cigars. Um, but if you're looking for a new pyramid to try and you like a bit of H. Chapman, then uh, I highly recommend it. And uh, one you can definitely enjoy. So there we go. So, H up number two. One of my favourites. It could be one of your favourites. If you uh, if you enjoyed this video, drop me a little like and subscribe. That's what I'm supposed to say. Anyway, thanks a lot. See you around. Take care. I'll be back for another review soon.